Hi everyone, I'm Cosmic Mango, your favourite mango from outer space. Today we are talking about one of the recent spoilers from the set Unfinity. Some of the cards on this set will be legal for Commander, and we have been giving a small taster of a legendary creature who is incredibly powerful. So let's get right into this. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. The recent spoiler is a card named Maga of the Magic Strings. He is a legendary Minotaur performer creature that costs one red, one black, and one colorless mana. So he is a Rakdos commander, which says the following. For one colorless, one black, run red, note the name of target instant or sorcery card in your graveyard, and put it onto the battlefield face down. It's a free free creature, whiff. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, you may create a copy of the card with the noted name. You may cast a copy without paying its mana cost. And, if this creature would leave the battlefield, exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. So a lot of very good text here. The card has a very fun and powerful effect, giving us the ability to replay our instant and sorcery spells from our graveyard, as they will become creatures, which if connect with our opponents allows us to cast a spell they are tokens of. This sounds like a super fun mechanic, but could possibly be busted one too. So we are basically reanimated spells into creatures. Sounds strange but definitely fun. Some cards I can see doing a lot of work in Maga decks are the following. Anything that can make your creatures created by Maga unblockable. So Rogue's Passage or a Whisper Silk Cloak would be very beneficial here. If we can make the creatures unblockable, we can cast the instant sorcery spells with ease. Another handy feature for a deck like this would be Haste Enablers. If we can give the tokens Maga creates haste, then they are more likely to swing before being removed by our opponents. Hammer of Perforus is a must. Please remember Maga's ability doesn't require him to tap himself. So we can actually make multiple creatures each turn, as long as we have enough mana and instants and sorcery cards in our graveyard. Some cool cards I would love to try with Maga are Faithless Looting. It would uh, be great, because it would be able to create a way for you to keep drawing cards through and through the deck whenever a creature connects. And Tomb, this card is insane in this deck. We can search our library for any card, put that card into our graveyard, so we can throw in instants and sorceries, and then use Maga to make creatures of it. It's amazing. Worst fears. This will disrupt your opponents, and maybe win you the game. If we can make creatures copies of this card, and swing and swing and swing, we'll snowball super fast and probably end up winning. Final thoughts. I think Margo is a commander who can build, you know, in multiple ways. You can build him on a budget, as well as the expensive side. I also believe he can be built on a lower tier level, and also on a super high level. He looks fun, strong, and resilient. Definitely worth trying this Minotaur commander. I hope you enjoyed this list of cards. I strongly believe they can help win your games. They are all, all, all very fun to me. Please leave a comment on what you think of the cards I've chosen. It's always fun to chat with you in the comments. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.